red wine that's like really old and tastes quite acidic and it's not really great for drinking anymore. Well, I googled um, recipes that could use a little old red wine. So let's go check it out. So I found a recipe online that is uh, butternut squash, sweet potato, and a few other things. And I also have this spelt from Denmark that I want to use. So here's the cut up butter squash, and here are the main ingredients. This is what I really love is I just got this um, glass pen in white, and um, I just love using the window as my whiteboard because it's so easy to see and it's just like such a good place for reminders. So I got my old red wine and then you need butternut squash, sweet potato, stock and canned tomatoes, paprika and cumin and of course salt and pepper and things like that. And let's go check it out. Hi Moody Foodies! I'm here with my guinea pig. What's your name guinea pig? Uh, Kun... Kumark. Okay, so today I, want, uh, I, I am totally experimental. Um, so I have like spelt from uh, Denmark. Here is the spelt, and um, and I have like really old wine, um, and uh, it tasted a little too acidic. So there decided, are a lot of things in this that and, could potentially kill me. Yes, but um, I decided to Google a recipe for using old red wine. And they were all like carnivorous, and I found one that's vegetarian, and it's with uh, butternut squash and sweet potato. So here we are. She doesn't know that I added blood to this. If you can see, <laughs> like your own blood. <laughs> see, so here it is. So Mark's gonna taste this. This is butternut squash, sweet potato, spelt, uh, red wine, and garlic, and onion, pig, right? um, cumin seeds, and also Thai Thai sesame. Um, the very healthy. Oh, Thai kind. sesame. Never yeah. mind. I'm not, I'm not trying it. <laughs> this ngakimon. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Okay. Mark. Sam. Song. Nung. Nine one one. Nung kau nung. Alright. Mark. Mark. Like. Oh, thank you. Can you describe it a little bit? Mm-hmm. So I'm. <clears throat> what I I'm loving the wine. I think the wine brings a good earthy note to it. Definitely not too acidic. Maybe a little too acidic to drink, but cooking Does it allude to Napa Valley? I can... So good, I'm going in for more. Yep. So we're just waiting for the spelt to soften a bit more. Mm. We don't know how it's supposed to, mm. to taste because we've never done it before. Um, but it, it tastes pretty good. No, the cumin seed adds such a great flavor to it. Yeah. Do you know the history of cumin? History I don't. Cumin. That's why I'm oh. asking you. <laughs> uh, I know it's a seed. <laughs> um, I want to say that Christopher Columbus thought that he was going to find it, but he is a fucking idiot, and he overshot where he was going by quite a bit. It was so dumb that he got to North America mm -hmm. and just thought the people that were there were the Indians from India. Mm -hmm. So that's why on every Christopher Columbus Day, we laugh at how dumb he is. Yep. And okay. all the people who celebrate him being wrong. Yes. So yeah, that's what, that's what I know about cumin seeds. And you're from Philadelphia, where I studied. Yes, I am from Philadelphia. Today is a, and there's a bell today, there. Today is a rough day uh, to be from Philadelphia. There, For the there, Eagles. There is a bell there. <laughs> A lot of people think that that bell was injured many years ago, but it actually wasn't. It was Eagles. Independence Bell. It was actually Eagles fans who damaged it after they lost the Super Bowl in 2004. <laughs> and considering they just lost again today in heartbreaking fashion, I have to figure there's going to be another bell. The city there. of brotherly love. So it needs a lot of love right now because they just lost. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Phillies. But yeah, Eagles. so cumin seeds and um, fuck Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Let's go Indigenous Persons Day. Yes, we love indigenous peoples. Thank you for being my guinea pig. No problem. I will do a follow-up um, from the hospital, most likely. Hospital. <laughs> look, it's, it doesn't look like, you know, poison. Does it? Does no, it? but good poison doesn't look like poison. That's it, true. Yeah. All right. Cheers. I'm from Philly. I know these things. Okay. Thank you so much, Mark. Yep. Bye. Sorry, cop. I Googled the uh, recipe. And um, yeah, so I found out a whole bunch of recipes that were all like meat, and this one is vegetarian. And here we are, we have our butternut, uh, sweet 
sweet potato stew with spelt and a, um, a really crispy um, like biscotti like kind of toast so let's have a try mm. it's so good like the chopped tomatoes the can type and the spout it's just the right texture so i'm very proud so there you go one recipe experiment with old red wine thanks for watching